Hello everyone. This is Uncle Jay. Welcome to today's lesson. Today we're gonna learn some very interesting but confusing characters. What are these characters? I call it eight people enter. Eight people enter. These are three characters. There are eight people enter. It is pretty confusing. All of these characters have two strokes that contain left falling and right falling. So, you know, even when Uncle Jay was little, I had a hard time to tell. But today, Uncle Jay will tell you the real story behind these characters. We will unveil the cover for these characters. Once you understand the truth behind them, the stories, you will understand these characters and remember them easily. Finally, you will master them. Let's take a look. If you've been following Uncle Jay's numbers series. You probably you already know number eight, but just in case this is your first time to watch this video, Uncle Jay will give you a short review. Number eight's pronunciation is ba bo a ba first tone. What does it look like? Please grab a piece of paper and follow the animation. Give it a try. Don't worry if you make a mistake or not. Just try it. In Shang Dynasty, originally, when people tried to create a character stand for number eight, they couldn't have one. They couldn't find one. They were very frustrated. So finally, what they decided was borrowing the shape of another character to stand for number eight. And what character did they borrow? Bie, B I E, Bie, Bie. It means farewell, bye bye, separation. So, hopefully, this image can help you to explain this character. Just like two person, one is facing to the left. This their head, is his head, back, leg, hand. The other person's head, back, leg. And hand. One is walking to the left. One is walking to the right. They're separating each other. So there's nothing exciting happening. You know, whenever we separate, we feel sad. So the tone is also first tone is monotone. Ba ba. So think of if you always want to draw a character to explain something. It's very inconvenient. The reason why we create the language is we want convenience, so people just cut the top part of this character and leave and left the bottom part to stand for number eight. It's called ba. So that's the history and story behind this character. Do you remember it? The next one is ren. Ren means people. Ren. Ren. Second tone. The tone is second tone from a lower pitch to a higher pitch. So this, think of the philosophy behind this character. Ren. When we were born, we we're babies, and then we grow up to adults. So we always look up, no matter for our knowledge for going to school or our career. There's a ladder. We are always thinking of going up. The philosophy behind this that we should never look down. We should always look up. Have ambitions. So it's second tone. Ren Ren is a going up shape. What does Ren look like? Also, Ren has two strokes that contains includes left falling and right falling. So it's it's pretty confusing. Since it's so similar with number eight, but but if you understand the history, it won't be that confusing. First, I would like to tell you a story of Adam and Eve at the beginning. Remember when God created people? He created Adam, and then get a piece of rib from Adam, create a woman called Eve. And then they were living happily in the Garden of Eden. They didn't have to work, but they were seduced by a serpent, by Satan. So they ate the fruit of wisdom that God told them not to eat. But they disobeyed God's will, and from that moment on, they were expelled out of the garden, and they had to labor themselves to exchange for food. So Chinese use this story when they create Chinese characters 
This is they draw a person bends down his back. This is his legs, his arms. This is a side view of a person is working in the field, trying to grow something using his labor to get his food. So that's the original character of human, of people, 人 But you know, when we grow some crops, some food, after we the hard work, we want to save some money and go to school and get some education. What do you learn in school? You will learn manner, politeness. This is the ancient Chinese person using the ancient manner to bow down with for with others, and then see this is just. This person's shape, a human's bowing down, and then later on, the character evolves to be like this: head, body is straight, left leg, and then right leg become like this, and then finally it became like this. This is the modern way: left side, right side. See, left side. I call, Uncle Jay calls it left side is a bit longer because it extrudes a little bit. A Comes out a little bit, but the right side doesn't. So this is 人 Uncle is going to show you some additional knowledge. In Chinese, there's saying is called 一人为人 One person is a person. 二人为从 Two person is two persons are following each other. And 三人为众 Three persons are many. What does it mean? So one person is a person. If you write down two persons, that means follow. Following, follow, because one person is walking in the front and another one is following each other. Following the the first person and 三人为众 means three persons are many. You can see one, two, three, many. So the philosophy behind this that if you want to get some power, get some support, if you have some opinion, you want it to be heard, always find another a couple person to sign on a piece of paper, submit the opinion together so that you can be heard. Means because three people is considered as many, so you will have more、uh, power, more weight to let your opinions be heard. 三人为众 Z H O N G first tone, 二人为从 C O N G second tone, 从 So that's the story of 人 And then the last one is 入日物入 first tone means enter. What does it look like? Left falling, right falling. But this time the right side. Is a bit longer. Why does it look like this? This is Uncle Jay holding a pair of pliers, trying to push a nail into the wall. So when then that's the shape of entering. If you want to enter the nail into the let the nail enter the wall, you have to be you have to hold it and press it. So originally, when in Shang Dynasty, when people create this. This character, the shape was like this: a nail, and then the handles, and then it evolved to be like this: nail, one handle, two handle. It's like a triangle shape, so it's easier to write. But as we just learned, 人人 looked like there was a time 人 looked like this, right? And now, then look like this. So th th these two characters look very confusing. In order to distinguish them, they may change like this. The right side extrudes a little bit. Uncle Jay calls it right side longer. Right side comes out a little bit. So that's rule. So if you want the nail to enter the wall, you have to give it a force, use the momentum to push it. So it sounds very decisive. Boom. Push it in, so that's the first tone. Ru, ru, ru. So Uncle Jay made this table to help you distinguish all of them. We have these three characters: eight people enter. So they all have two strokes: left falling and right falling. And now you can tell this means ba means separation.
in order to separate, they cannot touch each other. And 人人 people left side longer, and 入 right side longer here. The pronunciation is 八 first tone, 人 second tone, and 入 first tone. And 八 means these two strokes should be separated, and 人 is left side longer, 入 is right side longer. I hope this video can help you distinguish these three characters. If you like this video, please give us a thumb up and make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you will be notified for our first-hand release. And if you have some friends trying to have the same problem, please share with them. And we are going to upload more videos to help you distinguish these confusing characters. Okay, I'm gonna see you in our next video. Stay tuned. Bye bye.